Welcome back to a Skewed Reviews, and this whole week I'm doing Mother's Day movies. And even though this one is technically a Christmas movie, I still think it works. It's the 2017 film, A Bad Mom's Christmas. Here's your trivia question for today. What Christmas decoration do the girls steal from the mall and set up in Amy's house? The answer will be at the end of this episode. So with this film, we pick up with our three main characters from the original, Amy, Kiki, and Carla, as they now are getting ready to celebrate Christmas. Now this time around, instead of having the adversaries of the three ladies from the PTA, this time it's their own mothers. There's Carla's mom, who is once again just blowing through town and is hoping to get some money from her daughter once again. Kiki's mother, who is here to be Kiki's best friend while also smothering her to death in the process. And finally, there's Amy's parents. Her father, for the most part, is great. Her mother, on the other hand, though, is overbearing, domineering, and only wants Christmas her way and only her way. Now, just like in the first film, the three ladies have another drinking and bitching session where they decide that once again, they're not going to just sit and take this and act like the daughters they're supposed to be. So will Amy, Kiki, and Carla be able to band together and stop their mothers from ruining Christmas? Just like the original, this one was written and directed by John Lucas and Scott Moore. Of course, the three main actresses from the first film are back, Mila Kunis, Katherine Hahn, and Kristen Bell. There's also a few other returning cast members, Jay Hernandez, Wanda Sykes, Lyle Brocato. Christina Applegate also makes a brief cameo, and what's really funny about this scene is they didn't warn her ahead of time of Mila Kunis's Scrooge makeup and costume, so it was really hard for her to keep it together. Some of the kids also return, including Una Lawrence, MJ Anthony, and Cade Mansfield Cooksey. They also have some new faces in this film as well, including Ariana Greenblatt, who replaced the actress who played Laurie in the first film. There's also Peter Gallagher, Justin Hartley, who is definitely one of the best additions to this film. Kenny G makes a brief cameo as himself. And of course, you can't forget the new moms in the movie, Christine Baranski, Susan Sarandon, and Cheryl Hines. Katherine Hahn apparently wrote a personal letter to Susan Sarandon asking her to play her mother. By the way, in this film, we see that Carla's place of work is the Okoli Spa, which Okoli in Hawaiian means butthole or anus. During the scene when Sandy is trying to guilt trip Kiki into being her friend, she mentions a bunch of ailments, including having cancer, polio, bubonic plague, shingles, bird flu, and the last one she says is lazy eye, which of course is interesting as Kristen Bell actually does have a lazy eye in real life. The activity center they go to in the movie called Sky Zone is a real place. If you've never been there before, especially if you're a parent, it is so much fun. By the way, I'm not doing any kind of advertisement for them. It's just honestly a lot of fun to go to. The movie was completely filmed in Georgia, but it does take place in Illinois. After completing this film, there was some talks of doing a spin-off sequel called Bad Moms Moms, which of course would have starred the three grandmothers from this film, but that never actually came to fruition. So when it comes to the film A Bad Mom's Christmas, I like this movie, but I like it about the same as the first film, because I don't feel like there's much difference. I don't think that they did much to make this one any better than the original, but they also didn't do anything to make it worse. So I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5. If you did like this movie, other films I recommend checking out are Rough Night, Daddy's Home 2, Four Christmases, and Surviving Christmas. Now it's time for the trivia question from the beginning of this episode. What Christmas decoration do the girls steal from the mall and set up in Amy's house? They steal a Christmas tree from Lady Foot Locker, which has a bunch of shoe-shaped ornaments. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Askewed Reviews, and if there's a movie you'd like to see get a review, just mention it in the comments.